All right, guys, today we're going to be looking at uh, the operation of a 90% efficient forced air gas furnace in heat mode. Okay, so when you're calling for heat, the very first thing that's going to turn on is this inducer motor. Okay, the second thing that happens is this pressure switch right here has to make sure that this inducer motor is running and pushing the exhaust through the pipe. Okay, um, if it is pushing it through the pipe, okay. Uh, and make, make sure that it has a place to escape outside, uh, then this pressure switch uh, would go ahead and connect the wires, okay? So it's actually sensing these tubes, making sure the tubes are clear. It's getting a good negative pressure reading from back here, all right? Um, the inducer motor is sucking the flames, uh, the exhaust, through the heat exchanger channels, which are in the back of the furnace, okay? Sucking it through into this plastic inducer motor housing, and then pushing it through and out, all right? If that is working properly, then this pressure switch will close at 0.68 water column, which is a very, very small amount. But that water column is determined uh, by the manufacturer with this setup in mind right here. So you don't want to put a different water column value in here, all right? So first thing that happens on a call for heat, the inducer motor turns on. Then the pressure switch closes, okay, as long as everything is good. The hot surface igniter up here uh, turns cherry red. Then you have the gas coming in, goes into the electrical gas valve. It lets um, the output gas come through to the burner tubes, all right, for three seconds, okay, for three seconds. Um, when that happens, the control board down below sends voltage, 90 to 100 volts, up through this wire into the flame rod that goes into the flame, all right. Uh, what happens is that AC voltage that's 90 to 100 volts gets rectified in the flame. All right, and then the control board down below senses the DC amperage through this grounding wire, through the grounding of the furnace itself. Okay, then after that happens, what you have down at the control board, all right, and the blower motor down here, this is the blower motor housing, and here's the control board. You have a 20 second on delay before the blower will turn on. Okay, and what that does is it's making sure that the heat exchanger uh, that's back here is heating up. Okay, uh, if you don't want cold air blowing on you in the middle of winter, uh, so um, it's waiting to heat up for about 20 seconds before that blower motor turns on. So real quickly, I'll go through the sequence of operation again. The inducer motor turns on. The pressure switch closes the electrical circuit. The hot surface igniter HSI turns cherry red. The gas valve lets three seconds worth of gas flow through to the burner tubes. They get ignited and then there's three seconds before the control board has to sense that there's a flame with the voltage going through to the flame rod and sensing it back out through the ground wire. Then you have a 20 second on delay before the blower motor will turn on down here. Okay, And that's it. All right. Hope you enjoyed yourself and see you next time at AC Service Tech.